Oh, and welcome back, Stardew Valley. I say welcome back. This is actually going to be the start of a new series. Um, I have before done challenge. Can I make 10 million gold without ever leaving the farm? The answer was no, because I got so close to it, and then I accidentally deleted my save. Uh, but I'm going to go back and try this again. I learned so much from my first time. If you want to check out the previous series, here it is here. Links are in the description. Uh, but this is going to be a new new farm. Uh, we are going to be using the Four Corners farm because it's the only way possible to do this challenge. Uh, we'll skip the intro. Let's um, let's just give it a good randomize till we love it. We'll take this guy. We'll call this guy. Um, call this guy Kevin McAllister. Ah, it doesn't fit. Uh, we'll just call him Kevin. Because of uh, Home Alone. This guy is literally Home Alone. Um, farm. Not leaving my... Again, we're just a little bit short. Not leaving the farm. Favorite thing. My farm. And we'll take a dog. We'll take... We'll take this one. We'll take this one. And uh, let's just jump straight into it, I think. We just wanted to check here. Everything is just normal. Uh, last time I did have the monsters spawn on the farm. The amount of monsters you can get is very minimal. And we'll put it on anyway. There's nothing really good you can get from it. But any additional items we can grab, we are gonna. And here we are. Waking up. The first day of spring. As always. Uh, I mean, I haven't played this game in like a month. So I have... I've got to remember how everything goes pretty, pretty fast. Um, basically, what we're going to do, I will explain right now. Day one, we're just going to clear as much stuff from this part of the farm as we can. Looking for these mixed seeds. Mixed seeds are the only way that we can complete this challenge. The only way. Um, the challenge here is going to be, can we make 100 million gold without ever... And I mean ever leaving the farm. I know there's been other people that have tried it and they've, they've left the farm like once a year or stuff like this. Uh, we are never leaving this farm. Ever, ever, ever. Um, we are going to take the fruit, I think. I'm pretty sure fruit is is better for us. Um, we can get... Actually, I don't know, because mushroom, mushrooms are guaranteed. Oh, mushroom or fruit? Mushroom or fruit? Mushroom or fruit? Uh, I mean, we've got until we make 25,000 before Demetrius comes around anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, Four Corners Farm. This bottom left quadrant, completely useless. We can just put anything we want there. Top right is going to be our farm. Top left is the woodland area. And in this area, some of these, uh, some of these weeds can turn into guaranteed seed drops. So we are going to end up clearing this whole area. Of everything apart from the uh, apart from the weeds, because we want the weeds to spread as much as possible to boost our chances of getting some guaranteed seed drops. Uh, and as for this last quadrant, this is a very very important one. This will be the tree farm area, and more importantly than that, this is the only area in the whole farm where we have a naturally occurring Source of copper, iron, stone, geodes, um, gold, all kinds of stuff. So everything that we can get in terms of uh, smithing, like uh, smelting down our bars, getting making a furnace even, uh, is all going to be done from here. And we need stuff like uh, iron and copper to make our kegs, to make our uh, preserve jars to make our tapples. We want to get as many trees tapped as early as we can as well, so we can just get full production with kegs. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go around the farm. I'm going to delete every single weed on this farm, and we're going to come back at the end of the day and see how many big seeds we've got. Okay, we're nearly finished. I'm at the last part where I need to take up all these weeds, and we are looking Pretty good, 160 mixed fibre by the way. 
sorry, five or uh, how many big seeds? Eleven. So not so great on the big seeds. Uh, I did go and plant all the parsnips we got. So fifteen parsnips have been planted. We are pretty low on energy. I did hope to have enough energy uh, to craft a chest just to ditch stuff we don't need. Um, however, that won't be happening on day one. I think we are done now. No, there's still a little bit more. So basically what this challenge is going to be is kind of make 100 million gold without ever leaving the farm. Now, this is all going to come down to... We learned last time, because I, I did get up to a million, um, we learned that something you need is a seed maker. Seed maker is the most important thing to have on the farm because with the seed maker, you can put, your, put any crop into seed maker and it will give you at least the same amount of seeds uh, as you put in crops. Uh, I think it's like one to three. So if you put one parsnip into the seed machine, you will get between one and three um, parsnips uh, seeds back uh, with a chance that you might get an ancient seed. And I really want to get some ancient fruit as early as possible. Because uh, we got them pretty late last time. Uh, I've cleared every weed. We've got 12 mixed seeds. Everything up here. Uh, I will eventually be taking out all these. Um, all the tree stumps. All the tree. So not tree stumps. All the tree. Uh, all the trees and all the bits of wood. Knocking about. And all the rocks. Just so the weeds can grow. Uh, because this is our forest quarter. And we have a chance. I don't see any here. But we have a chance of getting guaranteed mixed seeds from these weeds. We just need to give them a chance to grow and spread. Um, I got everything from here. The early days of the farm is all about just clearing it out. Clearing it out, selling some stuff. Like, we can sell... Actually, something I did last time was I kept a chest. Kept a little chest just to show that everything is legit and above board. Kept a chest beside this and I would uh, do one sale per year. I think I'm going to keep to that. And I'm going to keep it that every um, every video I put up on YouTube is going to be exactly one in-game year. Uh, so episode one, year one, episode two, year two, and so on. Um, so day two, we get Clint because we're just going to skip this. Um, we know he's going to give us the blueprints for how to make a furnace because he thinks we've been to the mine and got copper. Uh, where in fact we just got copper from our own little quarry area in this farm. Uh, so we can make a furnace with 20 copper ore though. Uh, first things first, we need to get a chest. Chest is the most important thing and to water our parsnips. Um, Pierre's, Pierre, we're never going to see the interior of that store. Um, just got back from a fishing trip. Willie, we're never going to get that fishing rod. And that pains me. I would love it. I would love it if Willie had it that he would send you the fishing rod uh, on the second day. That would be just so much easier because something that I, I noticed last time I did this challenge um, and I'm again so sad that I lost my save. Um, I lost my save, if you don't, don't know because stupidly I was doing some speed running and um, ended up making a whole bunch of new saves because I was doing speed runs and when it didn't work out, new save, new save, new save. And then it came to a point where I had to delete all those old saves. And I was just like, click, delete, click, delete, click, delete. And uh, forgot when to stop. Forgot when to stop and end up deleting uh, my, my save, which was really upsetting. Uh, but we do have enough to craft a chest. Let's just, uh, let's just drop these geodes for now. And we'll put the chest... And just chuck it down here. Why not? And that's like the kind of default position people put it there. Um, we'll just store stuff we don't need. Just about mix seeds. I will wait until summer to grow the mix seeds for a very, very, very good reason, which I will get to shortly. Uh, don't we need the scythe anymore? Won't need the hoe anymore. Um, this season anyway. Let's just organise this a little bit better. Right. So let's water these plants first and foremost. Yeah, we won't be needing the scythe again. Or the hole because this is all we're going to be, all we're going to be growing in spring. The reason I'm keeping the mixed seeds back until summertime is purely because, um, in spring there's only a set amount of things you can grow, and every one of those things dies at the end of spring. 
which means that if we don't get any more McSeeds, then that's us for the rest of the game uh, for that for that year. Uh, however, if we put our McSeeds into summer crops, we plant on the 1st of summer, we have a chance of getting corn. And corn lasts throughout summer and throughout fall. So that's half the year we're getting guaranteed crops. Uh, and I'll probably just stockpile. I probably won't even sell the... Um, sell the corn at first, I'll just stockpile it because we can then turn it into seeds or we could just uh, hold it back until we start making preserve jars and then make some pickle corn. And just like that already, already at 9.30am chopping down a few trees we are out of energy. So straight to bed. Uh, this is going to be a case where it's going to be like this every day for the first couple of weeks just clearing the farm. There's no way we can replenish our energy, we can't eat anything. Um, so it's just going to be go to sleep, wake up, chop down a few trees, go to sleep, wake up. We will have more energy today because we don't need to water these, which is going to be good. Um, I think I'm going to focus, actually I'm going to focus on layering out the stone and wood from the upper left quadrant, which we'll call the forest farm quadrant uh, just because this on oh, the forest farm is where these things can spawn and this part of it is our forest farm quadrant just like the uh, the bottom right where we have our quarry that is our um, our mining quadrant this one here it's not quite actually is that it I'm unsure if this is it for spring because they're different in spring they're different in summer they're different in autumn um, but I think this is it this shape with these little curls. I think this is a guaranteed um, guaranteed seed drop. So let's see. It is. Okay, so we are going to go around here and we're going to look for some of those curly, little curly uh, ended weeds. And while we're doing that, we are going to clear out as many rocks and sticks and trees as we can because we need to have tiles completely clear so that these things can grow. And you can see we just got a piece of coal there as well. Uh, getting coal is going to be very important for us as well. Coal can only be got, only got from uh, knocking down bits of stone. Or digging up pieces of stone. Mining stone, I guess that's the right terminology. Uh, so hopefully we'll come across quite a lot. There is another one of these little curly weeds. So we're going to get a guaranteed mixed seed. Perfect. And through mixed seeds is how we are going to... There's another one. It's how we are going to guarantee that we have enough resources to grow crops throughout the year and have a good old time. But yeah, I'm going to continue to clear this and, oh, and knock down trees um, and I'll skip forward ahead. But one thing I should say is, if you don't know, those curly-ended seeds, uh, weeds, have a 100% guaranteed drop rate of mixed seeds. Uh, these normal weeds only have five percent, so I would need to chop down twenty of these weeds to, on average, get one seed, one big seed. So it's much, much, much more worth my while to let them grow, and then uh, just pick every now and again, pick off the ones that have turned into the guaranteed seed drops. But I'm gonna cut down all the trees here, dig up all the stone. It might take a few days. Okay, so it is day five here. Uh, I've cleared out all the stones and all the sticks. Uh, we still do have quite a lot of trees here, but thankfully, also, we have some more of these uh, guaranteed seeds. I think there was one over here. Yep, right here as well. Only bad thing is, without being able to smash up any of these other seeds, other weeds, uh, it's kind of hard to walk around. I've taken away all the grass I could, apart from this, because it's just around too many other weeds. Any other... Any other guaranteed weeds? Oh, there's a stick. I did miss one. Bad YouTuber. Um, I think we're good. I think everything is looking okay here. Looking around, I don't see any other guaranteed seed drops. Um, I did already get a few on the way as I was clearing stuff out. Um, we will quickly check to see if there's any more copper. So we really need to get that furnace going as quickly as we can. As you can see, I've not been down here at all. Nope, it's sadly just... Uh, oh, we don't even have a hole. Uh, sadly just stone. 
Um, I'll come down here again tomorrow, I think, and clear this area out. There is one other thing that we get on day five, and that is parsnips. Look at them all. We are going to grab all these, doing one of the few possible tasks we can. Um, well, yeah, we actually do need to make a scarecrow, just so we're not uh, losing any, not losing anything here. Craft the furnace. Uh, visit Gunther, never going to happen. There's an easy 100 gold, if you wonder where an extra 100 comes from. Uh, it's there. Introductions, three people greet. Greetings. Gret. Uh, Morris will never see you. Um, yeah, so we're kind of good. We're kind of good. I'm going to hold back these parsnips for now, I think. Although... <sighs> yeah, I'll, I'll hold them back. Although we do want to get to that 25,000 gold mark as quickly as possible because that is when Demetrius comes and he can turn our little place, our little cave into either fruit bat farm or mushroom farm and I'm really 50-50 uh, because last time out I took fruit and I regretted it because early on it was good, I was getting fruit all the time, put it into kegs, put it into preserved jars, easy money. However, uh, once I got the corn farm up and running I had more than enough crops it last me the whole winter for the amount of kegs and preserved jars that I could create with the limited resources I have to make them. Um, so I was unable to use all that fruit, so I was just selling it. And it doesn't come every day. Uh, you just get fruit now and again. Sometimes you'll get a lot, sometimes you get hardly any. Mushrooms, guaranteed every day, full six mushrooms. And it could be the purple ones that are worth a whole bunch, or it could just be the common ones that are not worth a whole lot of money. Um, so I think I'm going to go mushrooms. I think I'm going to go mushrooms this time. Uh, this time. I'm unsure. But we do have 19 mixed seeds for summer. So hopefully get a good amount of corn. Uh, but yeah, today is the 5th of uh, spring. We will not be planting anything else here for this month. Um, I'm going to spend the rest of this full season just getting rid of the rocks, getting rid of the trees, uh, and making this place look nice. Uh, to the best of my ability anyway. Um, hopefully, uh, we'll have some good luck getting some coal, some good luck in the quarry as well, little quarry area. Uh, but I think I'm going to jump back onto this video uh, at the start of summer. Okay, this is the last day of spring. Uh, let's check the mail, actually. I haven't checked the mail since we last recorded. Uh, Robin just telling me a load of nonsense. Um, more stuff from Robin. We'll accept that quest that we're never going to do. Egg festival which we've missed, uh, Granny, I'm looking for that birthday cake, or 500 gold from my mother. Nothing, okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, so what we're going to do today is we're going to check out the last of the weeds that we can do, and we're also going to continue this tree farm. Um, I start off this tree farm, what I do is I just turn every, every bit of wood I have into, we've still got a full stack of 999 back at the house. Um, what I've been doing is making this kind of grid formation. Um, basically, you do this like this, so no weeds can grow. Um, no weeds, no stones, no anything apart from it. Just these spaces that we're leaving in between. Just so it's going to be easy for us to collect stuff from our, um, our tappers, things like that. It's going to be nice and easy to grow as much wood as we can. Uh, so I've got a line of maple, line of oak, and here we're going to have a line of, uh, buffering. Pine. There we go. Eventually, eventually my brain got there. Uh, I don't think we're going to have enough wood to finish this today, but, uh, we will, we will try. Um, I'm just going to finish this off and then we're going to check out, see what the quarry has got us. I haven't been in the quarry in a few days. So we're going to check that out, and then we're going to collect the last of our mixed seeds, which we'll need before tomorrow when we finally put some mixed seeds into the ground. This is actually looking quite nice, this little grid. This is the tree farm, this is where we're going to begin all the stuff we need from our maple syrup and stuff like that, so we can make kegs, so we can make uh, preserve jars. Uh, actually, preserve jars don't need uh, any tree sap. Uh, but for the kegs, you need a lot of... Is it maple syrup? No, it's, uh, it's the other one. It's pine. Not pine tar, it's... 
Ah, it's one of them. It's one of them. We'll get it. Uh, you need maple maple syrup for the the beehives, which we are going to be making a lot of when we unlock them, whenever that is. It uh, should be too far away though. Uh, first things first, animation cancelling helping us out a lot with uh, harvesting our copper. Um, I think after we get to like mining level, because this puts up our mining level. After we get to mining level 4 I want to say, I think then we get iron appearing there. Then when I think it gets to 8, then gold appears there. Gold is almost useless apart from uh, helping us out with the uh, seed makers which we badly need. But we need to get to farming level 10? 9? Level 9. Before, uh, before we can do anything with that. Here is 1. Uh, so we're going to leave all these seeds. Oh, look at this. Two here. Another one here. And, oh, yes. Look at this. This is how we get our mixed seeds. This is how we get our mixed seeds. Uh, we're going to leave all the other seeds here, though. Because they can grow into uh, these same things, but for the next the next season. We'll probably just harvest these like once a season. Um, or I'll just come up here now and again and just skim some off the top. Uh, because this is a fantastic way of being able to get mixed seeds, and this is why we have to do it in uh, in the Four Corners farm. Because only in the Four Corners farm can we get access to can we get access to these mixed seeds and quarry as well. Um, looking good so far. I think we've got nearly all of them. Another one there, one here. Look at all these seeds. Look at all these seeds. I think that's it. Unless I'm blind and we don't have any others. Nope. And, oh, there's one right here. Literally just blocking us in. Yeah, so I'm going to keep that in that condition for the next season. We, we're not going to worry about this bottom bit until we need to expand. Uh, we don't really need to expand. We've got our weed farm at the top, tree farm and quarry down here. And the next thing we're going to need is our actual farm. Uh, we are gonna... We don't have access to sprinklers yet. I mean, we don't even have access to a furnace yet. Um, so these are gonna be hand done. Oh, we've got 73. Now there is no way I'm gonna be able to hand water 73 of these per season, surely. Unless it's all I'm doing. That could be extremely annoying. But I think we're gonna I think we're gonna go for it. I actually do have enough of this. Was it this? Is it coal or stone? I don't remember. We do have a full stack of 999 wood as well. Um it was stone, okay. So we've got a furnace. That is good. Uh these are all the other things we can make. Wooden fence posts. We are gonna get hardwood this time. Last time I fucked it up and I picked a different trait. And basically, I couldn't then go on through the skill tree to get trees have a chance of dropping hardwood. Because hardwood fences never uh, degrade, so I can have them all year round. Previously, I had to just come back and nurse my fences like constantly, and it was horrible. Uh, so I'm going to be trying to aim for the, the right skill tree thing this time, this time round. We had exactly 20 as well, which was amazing. I think I'm going to grow my, my mixed seeds down here, just because I am going to need 73! I'm going to be down at that watering hole so often. Right, let's sleep the night, the last day of spring. We got our dog, by the way, as well. Did get the dog, I forget what we named it. Uh, actually, we can check right now. It is called Wolverine, that was it. Wolverine. Oh yeah, and a new... New season means uh, new debris all over the farm, which we have to then clear up, which is just awful. Um, but yeah, we will go ahead and hoe. I can't believe this. I'm going to hoe 73 tiles here. Uh, this is going to be the, the entire summer. Uh, I'm just going to be... Actually, maybe we don't, because a lot of them will be wheat, sadly. Wheat is something that grows fast and is virtually useless to us. Um, so I might hold back half. What's half? I do half stack again. There we go. I'm, I'm gonna just plant 37 today and uh, see what we see what we get for them. And then in the places that we pick the wheat or the uh, is it beets we get? 
wherever we where, radishes, wherever we pick up, we can uh, replant in those same spaces with the other stuff. Although I would like to fuck it, we're just doing the whole thing. And I can see that these ones here, they've got like this four and then like a five smaller dots inside it. These are wheat, and wheat is absolutely useless to us. It's just gonna take up like five days of watering and do not want wheat. I want corn uh, and what, 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 what? it's been so long I forget the other ones. I just remember we don't want wheat. Everything else is good. Corn, the radish or beet. Um, everything else perfect. But uh, this here, this, wheat, we don't want. So just to save me watering and energy, we're just going to plan everything. And anytime we get one of those, we are going to just replace it. Uh, I think these ones might be corn, the three. Ah oh man, it's been so long, I, I, I really, really don't remember which is which. Um, 12 left. So far so good. We are eliminating all the corn we can. All the cornucopia. Uh, I hope I've got enough in the way of stamina. Um, it might not be the case. Uh, I do have, like I think, three salmon berries in here. I picked from. We have a couple of bushes that could drop them. Uh, I think there's that can, but I got them from these. Oh, they're not here anymore, but these ones puffed out and gave us some salmon berries. Hello, dog. We can also make some. Uh, what are they? Field snacks if we use some of our acorns and stuff that we have in the chest. I might craft a couple of field snacks. Uh, let's just. Oh, we actually have no room. Uh, let's get rid of this stuff, and let's take two of these, two of these, two of these, and a couple of field snacks. Those are going to help us if we need the stamina after watering all of these, uh, which we might. What's this? A 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 60. We've got 60 here and 1 for luck. Let's just uh, stab this one into the ground here. Um, good, it wasn't. So we have no, absolutely, oh fuck, there is one. There's one extra. Shit, I should have put it there. Never mind. Uh, let's just delete that. We do need to make a scarecrow, and I forget how we do it. Full fibre wood, X, we have all those things. Scarecrow can go right there. Um, what we need? Coal, fibre wood. Bang, there we go. And do we get money for that? No. Jody, Robin, hundred dollars, hundred gold, I should say. I use euros. I don't know why I'm saying dollars. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna water these sixty, uh, sixty tiles every day until we grow something. Then I'm gonna come back. Okay, we've had a bit of a problem, as you can see. Sadly, wheat has grown. Um, I did check the wiki of what the wheat seeds look like when they're sown, and it showed exactly. What I got rid of. I guess they could be a couple of different ways. Um, but you can see the other three things that we can grow. Uh, is growing. These here. Uh, these are going to be pepper. I believe these are either radish or beet. I can never remember which is which. Um, and these tiny little saplings. The smallest ones are uh, corn. And corn takes the longest to grow. But it does service us throughout summer. And throughout fall as well. So I'm glad to have this many corn. I think we've got quite a good amount of corn. Um, I'm going to keep watering these every day. Uh, the wheat. Ah man, what to do with the wheat? The hay the hay is completely useless. I can't make anything with hay. And if I try to sell it, it sells for Hay is literally, literally trash. Um, the only thing I can do with the wheat really is put it into a keg and make... Uh, make beer, um, or pale ale, or is that with hops? Either way, it can make some kind of beer. So I think I'm just going to continue watering these. Thankfully, with the animation cancelling, this uh, is able to be sped up greatly uh, than just having to water by hand with the normal watering animation. That would suck. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to continue to water these every single day, and hopefully we're going to have a good harvest from this. 
Uh, I know at least we're going to have a good harvest of the peppers because they are going to be able to be picked every single day. Not sorry, not every single day, every few days, um, if only. Um, and the corn will be the same when it's finally grown. It was a good idea for me to put it so close to this little warren hole as well. Um, because what we need is, this will never change, uh, what we need is our farming skill to go up. It's currently at 1. We need to get it to 9 to get the seed maker. When we get it to 9, we never need to worry about big seeds ever again. Um, and we'll be able to have so much ancient fruit. So, we need to get to 9 as fast as possible so we can start making some serious money. Because we are going to try to make 100 billion of this. Um, so, the only way to get our farm level up is by picking crops. Now, with peppers, they can just be picked and picked and picked and picked and picked constantly. Um, same with corn. We want more stuff like this. Um, I won't plant anything in the autumn, in the fall. I'll just keep the existing corn. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Depends on how many like, seeds I get. I might just hold them back for next year. Uh, but I'll make up my mind when it comes to that. Mining and foraging. Foraging, you get points every time you chop down a tree. Uh, mining, every time I knock fuck out of a rock. So these are going to go up. Fishing will never go up. Technically, combat could go up if I stay until 7 p.m. every night and uh, fight the monsters that come out. But sadly, the monsters that come out are only slime, um, wilderness golem, and bats. And can't get anything from those that is any anything that's of any use. Wilderness golems can drop certain things, but. Nothing that's going to be helpful to us. Let's just have a little look here. Yeah, whatever. Um, so we will just ditch, ditch this stuff and go back to sleep. And we will continue this until we've grown some more stuff. Okay, never mind. Literally went to bed, woke up the next morning, and already, day six, we are getting a harvest of peppers. Hot peppers. Uh, I'm going to save these until we can make a reserve jar. Now, when do we get that? I think that's at like. The farming or foraging level something. Uh, but hopefully we get that soon. And as you can see, these little beets or radishes are like just around the corner. So I'm going to have these done pretty fast. Uh, I'll probably skip ahead until we um, got the corn. And then we'll start making some other stuff. Because hopefully our levels will have gone up enough by then. Okay, let's check the mail. Nothing. Except a quest. Where's the money, Lebowski? Where's the money? Um, we do have some good news, and that is, it's corn season. Took us 15 days. Uh, I did go up to the the little weed farm up here, and I did siphon off a whole bunch more. Got another 28 seeds. Planted, planted in the spots that the radishes and the wheat uh, left, and I kind of filled in the blanks. Since then, I've then repicked more radishes and more wheat. And now we're left with just this stuff, the renewable stuff. This corn is going to keep going until winter. Um, the peppers are going to keep going until the end of the month, so they're not as sustainable. However, we do have quite a lot of corn. Uh, let's see what we get just from this one day of farming. Let's see. Um, quite a lot. I'm really happy with this. This is going so much better this time around than it did at the start of the last... Uh, the last playthrough of this. Uh, there is some corn we can't pick. We're actually out of inventory space. Which is a concern in this game. Um, you know what? Let's just make another chest. We're kind of wood rich right now. Let's just dump that. And we'll just put it here. This can be our... Uh, our crops chest. Let's just uh, grab that one back. Yeet. We have a lot of crops in the other chest as well. But we're filling it up too fast. Um, searching for any other crops. Yeah, I think we got all. I think we got all. Now it's just time to water them again. Uh, we did unlock the ability to make a sprinkler. However, it needs iron, and iron is not something we can get just yet, which is a shame. It's a shame because uh, I would like this automated. At least we know by next year. So episode two. Uh, we will have automated sprinklers, so this this watering can can be retired, um, and we can just enjoy. Oh, there's still one more piece of corn. I hate when you miss a piece of corn, 
and it totally puts out your entire harvest by like one day just to like grab everything. Um, never mind. Uh, one more bit of water. Nearly finished. It's also annoying when there's, there's gaps here because you can't easily tell what you've watered and what you haven't opposed to when you just do the full thing. I think we hit everything here. I hope we hit everything here. Fill up for next time. And while we are here, let's go and just do a little check up on the farm. Because now there's not much that needs done. The tree farm, we, I mean, I have a chest full of seeds. I could easily put some more trees down here. Anything grown here? Yep, we got some more. Um, we might be getting close. Actually, we should be able to get a tree tapper today. Um, we do have the ability to make beehives as well now. Beehives, I'm pretty sure, need iron though. Yeah, we need an iron and a maple syrup. Maple syrup, we will be able to tap up a maple tree today. Um, those are these ones at the top. Did I not put one here? Yeah, it's just not grown for some reason. Uh, they all do have space, as long as there's nothing grown around them, uh, they'll grow. And let's chuck this in here. Oh, we don't have coal. Give me a coal. Right. And we'll just dump that back in there, and we'll take... We still do have five mixed seeds, which is not the most. Um, let's just work on moving these slowly across to this chest. And we're going to have a little look at the farming... Oh shit, I need that. Have a little look at our farming level as well. We're up to four already! No way! Um, I'm going to need to check the wiki. I'm going to consult the wiki on what is the best one to take. For my situation. Um, parsnips, still haven't sold those. Gonna sell everything at the end of the year, I think. think. Might sell it earlier. In fact, the earlier I sell stuff, the earlier I sell stuff, the quicker I get to 25 grand. Though I don't think I've got 25 grand worth of stuff here. You know why I get to 25,000 so fast? It is to get Demetrius's help on making our Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, so I need some wood as well. There we go, we've got our first tree tapper. Have a tree tapper. Uh, anything else we need to grab from here? Yeah, let's grab all these and let's just continue our tree farm. Um, our first tree tapper, we will tap up uh, the maple tree. There we go. Instantly dropped a seed as well. Yeah, the reason why it's a grid system is just because we can so easily just walk through this. Collect, 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 collect. Down, collect, 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 collect. Um, yeah, so the, this one is all oak, so I will finish off this with oak, finish off these with more of the maple seed, and then down here it is all about the pine trees. And then we're going to just rinse and repeat that in opposite order, so we're going to once again start here and have a row of maple, then we're going to have a row of acorns, for our oak and then once more is all about the pine and that fits in perfectly actually didn't actually measure this out very well uh, just went with it freehand and it's actually worked out pretty nicely um yeah so we've got, we've got a tree tapped up we're well on our way to getting our first beehive then um i don't know when we get kegs and preserve jars preserve jars obviously is first um, but I would like to get there fast, just so we have that locked in and we can start pickling some of our stuff. I might not sell any of... Oh, there we go. Question's been answered. Reserve jar online. I was just thinking, I might not actually sell any of my crops, as is. I nearly just decided, just to, on a whim, just sell them all yesterday. But it's actually a good idea that I kept them back. Uh, preserve jar, we need eight coal. <laughs> Ah, I forgot coal is going to be something we need a lot of for this. So we can make two at least. Two preserved jars. And we'll eventually like build like a... Up here we'll have our like uh, preserved jars and our kegs and a nice little system. Have a blacksmith area for all our uh, charcoal and stuff. But right now we'll just put them there. Just by the front door. Easy to see. And let's start off by pickling a couple of these. A couple of those, and we'll pick the rest and water these again. And I will check in with you next 
when it gets to uh, fall. Next time when it gets to fall, uh, I'm just gonna every day just continually just pickle, 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 pickle. Turn all of our corn into pickle corn, all of our radishes into pickle radishes. Uh, sorry, these are hot peppers into pickled. Actually, it's jellied. Oh yeah, these turn to jellies, don't they? Yeah, these turn into jellied hot peppers. The corn turns into pickle corn. I don't make the rules. But yeah, I'm just going to water these every single day um, as fast as I can. And every time the preserve jars are empty, I will fill them back up again. We're going to keep checking out the quarry and hopefully get a lot more coal very soon. Uh, when I can make the charcoal kiln, that is going to like seriously progress us so far up the charts of uh, how fast we can make these preserve jars. I think the only thing then I'll be getting short on is the actual stone itself. Which, um, after you've used your initial amount of stone, it does take a while for it to come back. Yeah, I will check in again at fall. Okay, so here we are on the last day of summer. Sadly, these take ages. It takes so long to pickle stuff. Uh, I, I totally forgot how long it takes. Um, we do have a few things left to take. A few of these peppers. It's been really good harvesting these um, peppers and the... Corn. We're up to level 5 by the way. Up to level 5 we took Tiller, um, which when we get to level 10 it will mean our RSM products sell for, was it 10% more? 20% more? I don't, I can't remember. 15? Let's just guess 15. Um, so yeah, we don't need to water all these things anymore. We only need to water the... Um, we'll just reset that day. I can't believe that. I was just saying, we don't need to water the radishes anymore because the radishes... Sorry, the radishes. The hot peppers will not uh, continue to grow. So I was like, let's just get rid of them. I looked straight at a corn. I just axed it. So let's, let's do this as we go. Let's just uh, get rid of all the peppers. So the peppers are now useless to us. They will not continue growing in the next season. Unlike, uh, unlike the corn. Corn is absolutely fantastic. We did harvest a lot of peppers yesterday. They're kind of out of sync because we grew them on different days. Um, any others? There's one there, one there. One more there. Up top as well. And that one. Right now we're just left just left with corn of which we will harvest if there's any more and then we will water these these are not going to take long to water uh today we're gonna go and check out if there's any more of the um any more of the mixed seeds available I expect there to be a lot because i've not touched that place uh, i did go up once actually i went once in fall and uh, picked off a whole bunch uh, i think we have 28 what i say that we have like 28 Different um, mixed bundles. Oh, there's another, uh, another one that we can get rid of. I think we got 28 mixed seed. Could be wrong, we'll check. Uh, we do have quite a lot though. Um, 32, wow, more than I thought. 32 mixed seeds, so we might actually still plant some in autumn. It's just, it's kind of a waste because every time you grow in summer, you've got the chance of like. Get stuff that just replenishes constantly. Uh, we do have two tappers here now. This is our first maple syrup. Uh, let's see if there's any more ore down here. There's a place up. Um, ah, damn it. Well, we got some, got some copper. I just don't think we can get... Um, I think we can get iron quite yet. I think we must be getting close. But uh, no iron yet. If anything good comes out of these... Warp totem to the farm. That's uh, that's gonna save us no time at all. Um, you know what? The clay is more handy to me than the geode. Let's just ditch the geode. Rusty spur that can that can stay there. Completely useless for us, and they don't even sell for much. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's go and drop this stuff off, and then we'll check the weeds. Um, I kind of just use this for. All random stuff. We'll cook another one of them up. Uh, chuck it in. Really need more coal. We don't have the charcoal kiln. 
These are all things we have. Sprinkler needs iron, sadly. Um, Beehive needs iron. Whatever that is here. Um, nothing else is of any use other than apple and preserve jar. Coal is needed. Coal can only be got by cracking open stone. And uh, we do not have any stone. Right, here we go. Well, there's one here. And we're just gonna we're gonna have to like clear a path straight through. Don't like to smash any of these other weeds, but we kind of need to. Um, still some more over here. The one here, and another one here, and another one here. Just make our way up. Also, every time we smack open a weed, we have a one in one hundred thousand chance getting the extremely rare. Um, living hat. I got a living hat on a speed run once after hitting just nine of these. Uh, so I don't expect to be getting myself any kind of uh, living hat RNG anytime soon in this run. Hopefully we'll get one before the end. Or we make our hundred million. You would hope so, but really never know. Uh, so did I water these all? Yeah, they look pretty watered. Right, let's go into ball. Ball it is. Let's see. Let's see if anything. Uh... Oh yeah, I love I love the new color scheme. Every time you start a new season, it's just so nice to see. These look what? Am I just am I just going crazy? Yeah, I'm just going crazy. It's it's just such a darker tone to the soil. Such a darker tone. As you can see, we're still waiting. Um, dear neighbor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I accept. Never do it. Accept. Never do it. Ten o'clock. All right. This is all for uh, last season, of course. I'll just quickly water these, and then I've got a decision to make. Do I? Do I want to plant some more stuff? Maybe I do. You know, maybe I do. I was quite happy that I don't have to wake up every morning and water like seventy-five different crops, but. We really need to get our farm level up as fast as possible. As fast as humanly possible. So you know what? Um, we're going to plant some more mixed seeds. So we get what can grow in autumn other than pumpkins. Things like pumpkins, eggplant, maybe artichoke, I think. Artichoke. Oh, there's one more that I just don't remember. I mean, a lot of stuff can grow in that month, but not from mixed seeds. You only get four things from mixed seeds each season. As a max. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and fast water absolutely everything here. Um, again, which bits I've already watered. Yeah, all of this. All of these old uh, aisles will be getting watered again. I'll just stick with this instead of uh, doing a, a cut. Um, I'm still trying to think on the fly here. What I'm going to do for this season. What the goal is going to be for this season. And I'm unsure. I'm unsure. And just getting through, we actually missed one of those hot peppers. Um, we're just going to try our best to get some nice shit grown. And hopefully have a good time with it. I think this season is all going to be about just watering these crops every day. Um, and then going back to bed. And then every two or three days I'll check down at the quarry. Um... We've got 14 seeds for spring, or maybe we just skip until summer again. I'm unsure how I'm going to do it next year. All depends on how many mixed seeds we get. Uh, the thing about mixed seeds and the weeds in our weed farm is every winter, all these completely disappear. You can see right here, that one right there, that's ready. That's ready to be, be grabbed, but we're just going to leave it. They don't disappear. Um, we're going to leave that for now. I will do one big. Mass clearance uh, on the last day of fall because if I leave it till winter, they all just disappear. So I might as well take the 5% chance each time and just uh, scythe through them all. Um, let's grab this, chuck these in there. So we've got three pieces of coal, need another five in order to make another preserve jar. Um, I'm unsure, I probably won't sell much at the end of this year because I kind of want to turn all this into pickled. Pickled, uh, pickled vegetables. So 
I probably won't just sell it all. I will go to sleep and I'll catch you. Oh, minus treat. Alright, it's the last day of Ob. Um, we have kind of finished with our our process here. I don't think any of these are going to give us... Oh, we've got one more eggplant. One more eggplant, that's it. Um, we have a whole lot of stuff here. A whole lot of stuff. Um, 123 hot peppers there. 153 corn. Base quality. Um, we have pickled a few things. Uh, today is the day we are going to get handy with our scythe. Uh, but first let's have a little check down. Say hello to the dog. Whoa, look at the colours. This is, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool with the tree farm. I like this. Are we missing something here though? Like it seems to be a weird hole there where there's not anything else. Oh, is it because ah uh, it's because these haven't grown yet? I see, I see. Um let's just keep this place looking a little tidy and get rid of this. So today we're gonna pretty much complete this. We're gonna wrap this uh, year one up. Because in winter time we are not gonna be doing a thing. Oh we have got a whole lot of stuff here to uh to get hopefully get some coal. Coal is something I'm desperate desperately need. There's one piece of coal. Uh, the geode we don't even need. We're just gonna leave that. Geode sell for like I think 25, maybe only 20. I think it's 25 uh, gold. We can leave that. We're not that desperate need money. We're needing 100 million. That geode is not gonna be. Um, nearly finished with this. We will see what those worms or twigs or roots or whatever it is. Another stone. Excellent. Um, so this place is looking good. Say hello to the dog. We did. Um, I still have done absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing with this bottom corner. Um, let's just plant this. No reason. No reason other than we need a little bit of space. You know what? Ditch that. Today is the day. We are going <laughs> to... We're going to have a lot of fun here. Um, we are going to hopefully get a living hat. That would be really cool. Hopefully we can get the, the 100,000 to 1 drop of a living hat. Unlikely. But you never know. It's got to happen at some point. Living hat is there to be had. Uh, yeah, we're going to hopefully get a lot of mixed seeds. How many mixed seeds here will probably decide um, if we plant in summer or spring or both. Uh, ideally both. I would imagine we, we plant in both. Um, just looking out. The whole reason here, we're here for uh, mixed seed. But I'm looking out for that. Looking out for that living hat. 100,000 to 1 chance. But... No, we're at, we're actually knocking down a lot of this stuff. We are knocking down a lot of stuff. We've got 100 fiber. So we've already had like... 100 to 1. If we do this... No, wait. I don't, I, I don't know what the odds are. I don't, don't tell me the odds. Uh, we've got 47, 48. We've got a lot of mixed seeds. Way more than I thought we would. Way more. We've passed 50 big seeds now. And we're still going. Let's just get rid of the grass as well. Why not? Have a complete clear out here. Um, so yeah. Winter, nothing grows. Nothing can be planted. Nothing is going to happen in winter at all. Um, we are just going to sit winter out and sleep through it. So this will be the end of this after today. Uh, we will We will sell some stuff. We'll sell some stuff because we really do want to be getting towards that 25,000 goal. Because uh, when we get that, we get the uh, mushroom cave. And that is going to be good to get. That is going to be something I am desperately, desperately want to get my hands on. Suck all these up. Uh, I think that's them all. I think that is everything. So we ended up with 81 mixed seeds and 199 fibre. Now fibre has a 50-50 chance of dropping from a weed. So you can tell we we did roughly one uh, we did roughly four hundred weeds there. All this grass is gonna be deleted uh, after we sleep. So let's just put these away. Ninety seven mix seeds. We are definitely gonna be planting soon. Uh, in spring, first of spring, we will be planting. Um, we still don't have enough coal. Really need more coal. It's a shame. Uh, we did go up again in farming, up to level seven already. Uh, so just two. Two more, two more steps up and we will be able to get the seed maker. When we get the seed maker, it's game over. It's game over. We're just going to be able to print money. 
Um, well, I say that. It's still gonna. It's still gonna take us a long time. This has been horrible. Having to water all these by hand throughout summer, and throughout autumn, uh, it's been horrible. So I'm very happy that we should soon, hopefully, be able to get our hands on the um, on the sprinklers. Uh, Blackberry stuff, Mayor Lewis, Mayor Lewis, except we don't get a birthday cake. I thought we got a birthday cake from my mother or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, we'll go to sleep right now. We'll wake up in winter time. We've not sold a single thing. We've not sold a single thing. We start off with 500. We've got 100 for... 100 for making a furnace and 100 for making a scarecrow. Don't remember. Uh, but yeah, we're going to sell... Pickled eggplant, artichoke, pumpkin, pickled radish, pickled parsnip. And we're going to... Uh, hot... Oh shit, we don't have enough space. Hot pepper jelly as well. We will also sell that. Just to keep... Just to keep you uh, right with... Everything that's being sold. Keep an eye on that. And anything in here we want to sell? Um, Rusty Spur, Geode. That could be quite fun just to use. I'll keep that. Um, yeah, nothing else needs to be sold. Chuck these in here. And that is going to do it. Whatever our, whatever our total comes to here will be the total we finish the year with. And the episode. Let's have a look how much we made. 6,860 in just these. What was the best seller? It was Pickled Pumpkin, of course it was. We only got like pumpkin in the whole that year. Um, 900 on these? Oh, just because we had 7. We didn't, we didn't realize I had 17. Yeah, all that all adds up. So, yeah, nowhere near, near the amount of money we are going to be hoping for. Uh, for year one, really. But we do have most of our stuff still in the chest. I mean, this alone. 153 corn, 123 of that, 13 gold quality, 28, 29, 16, 46, 13. Uh, yeah, we're, we do have a lot of money in reserve, but I'm kind of hoping to pickle these. Uh, I will play out the rest of winter um, after I stop the recording. All I'm going to be doing is just filling up these bins with uh, some fresh pickles. And go down and checking out the mine every few days. Probably just gonna sleep for three days, wake up, check the quarry, uh, just to see if we're gonna get any closer to getting iron. And then um, rinse and repeat that. If you've enjoyed this, uh, expect to see year two up within the next few days. Uh, thank you very much. I will make sure not to delete this file. Have yourself a lovely day.